We begin with a story you will see only on News 5. One week ago, the morning after Hurricane Sally hit, a fire broke out at a home on Jubilee Point in Orange Beach. Orange Beach firefighters waded through three feet of water to save three of five buildings after the fire spread. Two homes burned to the ground, but in the ashes, they've found a community standing behind them. Nicolette Schleisman spoke with one of the families who rushed to save their neighbors before their own home went up in flames. The Rayborn family weathered one storm, but it was the day after that they'll not soon forget. We were going to be able to get back in operating order pretty quickly, but then things changed. In the middle of the night, their son Chandler saw something. Noticed orange flickering light up projecting up on the side of their house. Their neighbor's home in flames. I ran to wake my parents up. I was probably yelling very loud. Clint and Sue's house is on fire. Get up. We got to get them out. Jack Rayborn ran into his neighbor's home twice to make sure they were out safely. I ran back down the stairs, ran around to the front side of their house, and they were holding each other at the back of their dock. I just did what they would have done for us. But it's what's happened since the hurricane and the fire that has helped the Rayborn family heal. Everybody started coming. Friends, family and strangers have been driving by asking what they need. It has been unbelievable. The love and the, the, the overwhelming support and that everybody has pitched in and really helped us. Trying to find her ring. Truly humbling. Um, this is a wonderful, wonderful city. I got you, whatever you need, brother. I got to put a prop out to Matt Stringer. He has been relentless in helping us. The Rayborns say the support is making this all a little easier. We're going to rebuild. This, this is our dream home. It's going to be our dream home again. They say that it's this community that's kept them going. In Orange Beach, Nicolette Schleisman, WKRG News 5.